A beginner golfer's full Mizuno bag fitting. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Absolutely. What about oh, that first try? That's it. Try and get away with a few. What do we always say, mate? It's not how good you're good. It's how bad you're bad. Exactly. How good you're bad. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, while you're here, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content that we bring to you guys every single day. Hopefully to help you raise your game, generally to help you lower your handicap, but mainly just to get you enjoying golf more than you ever have done before. As you can see behind me, Foxy, our beginner golfer, has just started his full club fitting for a brand new set of Mizuno irons. So we're going to look at club length, we're going to look at shaft flex, we're going to look at head design. So we're looking anything between so that, uh, quarter inch and half an inch longer than standard because of your height. My height. We'll try them at half an inch longer than standard. I think I'll, with your height it'll fit in better for you, okay? Okay. Nice mate, balance went but... So how are we doing Mr Fox today? Uh, really good, thank you. Really good, why really are we good. doing really good? Some I'm down for my club fitting. We are down here at Knott's Hollingwell Golf Club with Mike. How are we doing Mike, you well? Very good, thank you. Very sure. good, what a beautiful setup you've got here. We are using GC2 to fit the beginner golfer Mr Fox for his brand new set of irons. And you've not stopped talking about this for a long time. No. A long time, I'm bored of it now. <laughs> so guys, like I said, we are down here at Knott's Golf Club. This is one of the regional fitting centres that Mizuno do offer. I believe there's one at Burtdale. There's one here, obviously, at Knott's Golf Club, Hollingwell. And there's also one at Bearwood Lakes, which is the national fitting centre. Nice. So already we're starting to move into the specifics of getting yourself something that's right for you and not necessarily right for me. Yep. Uh, when we grip, they're going to use a shaft analyzer now. And what you're going to do, you're going to grip at the top of this rather than halfway there. So if you're standard length, you grip down here. So we're going to go roughly with half an inch long and standard. So if you just grip it as normal, yeah. top of the grip, that'll give us an idea. So you're just going to hit some balls. And this is the DNA, is it, Mike? DNA one. This is the brand new one this yeah. year, which also gives you the lie of the club as well when you actually... So guys who saw my fitting, I use the same technology in my fitting to choose my shaft. It just shows that a golf pro will use the same technology as a beginner golfer to gauge what shaft you need, should I say. That's a great swing. So what we want, we want to do three swings, oh. and then we can have a look at what Line ball. Great shot. <laughs> Pulled it. <laughs> Must have a good coach, mate. Okay. He's all right. <laughs> right, so again, when it's come up again, we'll do another one. Yep. So when the blue light stops flashing, you can ready to go. Another nice one mate, well, a little bit right but good strike. Right. So guys as you can see we are busy checking out the swing speed that Foxy is creating. That's going to help us get the right shaft, get the right shaft flex. We've already looked at the shaft length, that's obviously down to how tall he is, his arm span, things like that. And this. That's a great strike. So what it gives us now the choice of going for the JPX range or the MP20 range. Now, with you sort of being a new beginner, a uh, new golfer, I would say we're going to go look at the JPX range to start with, but I'd also stand there and have a go with the new uh, new MP, MP20, which is the new one of those, the yes. HMB one of those yeah. as well. But that's because it's a little bit more forgiving, a little yeah. bit easier to They're hit. They're the ones I've gone for in the four and five iron in my yeah. set. Very, Fantastic. very nice. Fantastic, easy to hit. So. Yeah. I'll select that, so. And the, probably the model I look at to start with, can, any of the model, we change the model at any point. So what we're going to do here is going to go for the hot metal and then we can find out what shaft it recommends now. The head speed, roughly 75 mile an hour with the club head speed, the tempo of the swing, the toe down, which is how much the shaft bends that way on the club, yep. the kick angle of the shaft and the release factor. And it gives us anything up to 17 recommendations, but we generally look at the top three. They're the to that's the, the three that it's saying will suit you best. Yep. NS Pro Modus, Project X LZ 5.0, and the C Taper Light Regular. So, all very similar shafts. You see, they're very similar weights on all of them. 
So what we'll do now is get those shafts and we'll put them in the heads and have a go with them. See where that goes. Yeah. Have, a, have a go. Have a go. How are you feeling so far, mate? Uh, well, good. A few, few rubbish shots, but... but when have you ever stood there and hit 10 good ones in a row? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So Matt, just by doing that, what would you say to people who don't bother going to get a club fit, who just get them off the rack and is there anything, especially for such as a beginner golfer, this is what we're trying to prove that obviously our goal is to break 100 in Dubai. I say our goal because I'm teaching you, so you better, you better do it. <laughs> well, we all swing it differently. We all have different swing characteristics. So getting the shaft right, getting the head right to suit James's swing characteristics yeah. is really important because yeah. we're all different. Yeah. It's no good me fitting up for a set of clubs the same as James. He wouldn't be able to hit them anywhere near as well yeah. as he's going to do when he gets a set that's measured for him, yeah. not for anybody else. So you might as well, if you can get the opportunity to get a perfect fit, why wouldn't you? Exactly. Yeah. And it uh, and clubs only take now. I used to buy them off the shelf and get a set there and then, but now we can have a custom built set ready for you back within five working days. Yeah. That's worth the wait. You have different weight there. I've got the same heads. The yellow one corresponds with the longer than standard head, longer yeah. than standard shaft. Yeah. The white one is the standard length. And that's because Mizuno measure the weight of the head yeah. relative to the length of the shaft. If you get a longer shaft, you need a slightly lighter head. Right. Yeah, to so keep the whole swing weight the, the whole same, swing yeah. weight right, yeah. And that's where, guys, you might remember, so when we were on the tour truck building my clubs, yeah. Matt obviously yeah. showed yeah. us the different yeah. weighted heads, and that is why they have those. You have those for different characteristics, if people want different swing weights, and also for different length shafts, because obviously that's going to change the overall weight of the club. Half a dozen shots with each, yep. and then we'll get, start, get try and get a pattern and find out which one's working best for you. So that's it. That's the top rated shaft for you. Yeah. Which way is that, Fox? Let's have a quick look. That's the Modus uh, NS, NS Pro. Pro. So that's what our mid handicapper uses, Mark. That was nice, mate. I wish someone would teach me to do that straight. If we want to get the ball flighted up a little bit, you'll yeah. see here, that this shows you the kick points on the shaft, you yeah. see. And you see the modus, a little bit lower kick. Yeah. One might hit this higher than the other, but stiffness that yeah. shows you the tip shit stiff. So if we get it a little softer at the tip, yeah. it will help us get it flighted up a little bit more. Yeah, so. I think so. Looking at, at what I've seen so far in lessons and on course, I, I think getting it flighted is going to help him. Yeah, so I think, yeah. And I think the Project XLZ kind of goes down and then kicks it up a little bit more. So the LZ yeah. will probably fly to it a little bit higher for yeah. him. So uh, we'll do a couple more with that one anyway, but then uh, we'll try it and see if we can get it kicking up that little bit more. What kind of stiffness are we talking with these, Mac? Are these re just regular? Regular, just regular yeah. yeah. I'm just, uh, just extra, extra stiff, me and Foxy, but... You're extra stiff? Yeah, mate. You'll get there one day though. A bit like your wallet, extra steep. They feel comfortable half an inch long in the standard as well. With your height, I think, being that little bit they do, Yeah, they do feel comfortable. It's just, uh, obviously, I've been practicing quite a lot with them. So Short the standard to adjust, I think, yeah. a little bit. I think they do help his posture, definitely. From yeah. from teaching him, he does get a little bit hunched over. So, yeah, well, I am really like, yeah. you know, over, I think, so. Shouldn't be massive difference no, in field because it. if you think that how many shafts from Mizuno have got to choose from, yeah, and you've got 17 recommendations there, plus his other recommendations as well, it, it's the, the, the top three shafts shouldn't feel that different anyway. No. So they should all feel fairly similar, it just depends on what kind of performance we get out of them as yeah. to what suits. Nice strike, that mate. Plenty of power there. I mean, that's nearly 150 flight. Yeah, with a seven. Yeah, good flight. I know it's cut a little bit, but it's 148 through the air, that, which is good. Launching quite nicely as well for a seven, mate. 20 degrees launch. Good numbers then, mate. Were you wiping the face of the club there, or were you flexing your arm? I couldn't tell what no, you were No, I'm wiping the face, mate. Oh, okay. I, like to know, I like to know where it's come out. <laughs> now, is it a good... Yeah, beauty. 
quite a bit heavy that was it? Well, too bad. Yeah, Carl over too much. Okay, but that's what he's in. Yeah, now he's got a hole in one. Oh! It, uh, the thing is, what you want to see, that's almost a shot we need to find out as much as anything. Yeah. If you miss it, or like that, that's why we're putting that kind of club in your hand, so we get away with it a lot more. So yeah. it's very important we actually put a club in your hand that's going to give give you a little bit as yeah. much help as we can possibly get. So yeah, straight away, I felt like it was a little bit heavy, but still. Yeah, but it still went, and that's yeah. the beauty of that kind. You've got a nice rounded sole on it, nice easy sole, slides across the ground, big head, so you're a lot more forgiveness with yeah. it. So. Definitely the head I'm sort of working towards. Definitely worth a go with the... Uh, oh, just, just to see, yeah. The, 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 the other one as well, HMB one as well. So so. You raise a great point there, Matt, because we're, so when we were in Cyprus, we had a bit of a fun video, and we, we got and hit some blades. So we got yeah. and hit the brand new Mizuno MP20 MBs. And the, the thing that, that we kind of came, came to a conclusion with was, we can't really make his good shot that much better. Yeah. Even with the blade, he hit the six iron, he hit it good. Yeah. But obviously the bad shot was a lot worse. So I yeah. guess we're here to try and help you with... The, the bad shots or the yeah. not the not brilliant yeah. shots, but the the shots where you perform to your to your best are going to be going to be good anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the art, isn't it? Really, the art is to stand there and not to make you hit the ball any better, just to make you hit it better more often. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that is what we're trying to do here today, yeah. really. And get away with a few. What do we always say, mate? It's not how good you're good. It's how bad you're bad. Exactly. How good you're bad, and, yeah. <laughs> and then something like that. Yeah, and then a few swear words, and then we're. <laughs> <off. Yeah. laughs> That is just shows the shaft mate. That is the Project X LZ 5.0 LZ standing for loading zone. Ooh. There you go. And again, slightly miss it, but again, straight down. So you your may, target, if man, that's yeah. your bad one in Dubai, we're absolutely laughing, aren't yeah, we? We are. Still going hundreds. So it's getting quite a good average. When we hit it's a, it's a good one, you're getting it up to 150 fly. Yeah. Very good. Excellent fly. And. Uh, even with your misses, you're still carrying it 132, 135, 138 with a slight miss, hit, which is great. Still up there, still good. Yeah, it's still yeah. good. If, if, if that's going to finish, I mean, that's finished as it's finished 137, but pitched in the upslope with the bunker. Yeah. So on a, a flat surface, that's finishing 150. Yeah. Where good. Great hit, mate. Very good. There you go. Look at this. this. Go. Very good. Right mate, same shaft, Project X LZ5, and now we've got the HMB MP20 head. Should be used to looking down at this head, because yeah. that's what we've been practicing with at the range. Oh, it's nice to feel a little bit more comfortable, just looking down at that, because so, like I said, I've a bit more stared, used to stared down yeah. at that for quite a while now. Like nice shot mate. Lovely golf swing, Foxy. Didn't really quite get that, but I'll tell you one thing you have done with this. You've hit it very consistent. Mm. Very consistent. Perhaps that's just something in my mind. I'm just a bit more yeah. comfortable looking, yeah, looking, looking down, down at it. Yeah. Maybe I'll settle down a bit in here. Yeah. I, I don't know. And I think when you see when you come to getting two clubs that perform very similar like that, you actually then have to go to the, the the person and say which one do you actually like the look of and yeah. which do you like the feel of best because if the readings are very similar if you're looking down at a golf club on the course and you like it better than the other one you're going to play better with it that's it There's a lot to be said for that yeah aren't golfers funny creatures of habit oh, if you hit something a couple of times yeah yeah i'll have that one We definitely weren't shouting four right as many times with the hot metal. Were no, we? we weren't. No, it was definitely more playable. I think. Then. Strikes good, mate, but it's just. It is, yeah. is there more offset on the on the hot metal? It is. Yes, yeah, slightly is, more offset. Yeah. So that's obviously yeah, going to help the. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit more. Look. There is a little bit more. They're in both the, uh, They are both slightly offset, which is why that one's a little bit more forgiving blade style club. But they're yeah, both yeah. slightly offset. What you see here as well. What I think made a difference as well. If you got them a little bit heavy, the sole on this one is a lot wider. 
Yes. Just help me to. It, get, it actually come through a didn't bit. dig. It slid through the ground and got through the ground a lot easier for mm -hmm. you, I think. Which I think made it a lot more playable. It certainly hit more better shots with the the hot metal yeah. than yeah. you did with the uh, than you are doing with the MP. So can move on with that. You better strike again, then. But I would have said with the hot metal, that would have definitely gone better than that. Yeah, yeah. it just carried a little bit. Yeah, it, you see, it dug a little bit more, didn't it? Mm. You could see it, it just dug, it took it out of the ground and out of the air a little bit quicker. So, um, hot metal. The only other option, I thought we'll have a go with. Uh, the hot metal, but we'll try the hot metal pro, yeah. which is kind of somewhere in between that and this. Yeah. Still a cast club. I tried these, I liked them. Yeah. Did nice you? Mate, yeah. Not quite as big, not quite as big, but still a very forgiving club. But yeah. Slightly smaller head, slightly slimmer top edge. A little bit more streamlined. Yeah. A bit like me. Mm. It's looking down at this, mate. Stick it down on the ground as so you're going to hit it. How does that look compared to the JPX, the first one you hit? This is the JPX yeah, Pro. Yeah. Hot metal pro, should I say. Exactly what Mike said, it's just a little bit in between. You can just, just see the heel of it just a little bit, but nowhere near as much as the the first one. Beautiful. And what you could even do, I mean, I know we're a beginner golfers, so I don't want to go in the realms too much of making things confusing, but you could even go a little bit of a split set. So you could go yeah. hot metal pro in pitching wedge, eight iron. That's, that's not even an order, is it? In pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, and then hot metal in seven iron, six iron, five iron, then maybe a hybrid. Yeah. So I've really got a split set myself. I yeah. mean, I've got the 919 tour yeah. from pitching waist to 7 iron, then I've got the, the forge from 6 iron to 4 iron. Yeah, and then, so, so same for me. I've gone new range MP20, MB in short irons, HMB in 4 and 5 iron. And I always say, because I'm not that good. I'm going to trying to make it as easy as we can. Absolutely. What about oh, that for a strike? Absolutely. That one. That's, massive. That's it. Done. I'll have them. <laughs> <laughs> Great it's 178 That's yards. unbelievable, isn't it? Wow, that was, yeah, yeah. Sound good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mike. It's been, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> I'll have that for a driver. You I'll have that for a putter. That. You don't need that club. You don't need anything yeah. else. Another great one. Great yeah. Wow, this but, one's really good. Yeah. Is it funny how it's not tailing off to the right like the HMB no, was as well? Again, which... again, again, slightly different in sole compared to the one. The difference between the uh, the hot yeah. metal and the hot metal pro. So again, it is very much really in between the one you tried with the HMB yeah. and that. So if you like the look of the the HMB, you probably will like the look of that one more than you will like the look of that one. Yeah. And looking at the performance of it as well, then I could be on to a winner. There might be somewhere close. I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's great, this map. Really, really, really good. Yeah. The ones that are, I think would have been way right to the trees or way left. I think these might be them that. Are... Yeah, definitely. See, and what you've seen straight away is you saw the HMB. Mm -hmm. It definitely tells you what none of these have with the up uh, metal. Mm -hmm. so. That last one flew 161 yards in the air, mate. Yeah. Really, really impressive. That. Is that all right, Gaffer? Well, we'll take it, mate. We'll, uh, it'll make it easy to fly 120 yards. <laughs> We've all been there, mate. Oh, film that one. This could be in this. That's like, miles. It's way past the foot. Say what? That's, that's a two hundred yarder, is it, Neil? I mean, big high draw. Who, guys, hit those comments below now. Who would pay money for that as a ball flight? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've brought my chip and pin machine actually, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My heart said HB, my head said the first one, now they're meeting it middle. The numbers are yeah. saying that one. Yeah. If the, the, term, fitting, the fitting's saying that yeah. one. Yeah. If the term happy medium was uh, in the dictionary, it would, it would be that club, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it's definitely just making me more happy than medium. Yeah. <laughs> like that, don't you? Yeah. Project X, I'm very happy with the shaft. Yeah. Like, very nice. It works very well so what happens then you see we're going to length. we already know we've gone half an inch longer than standard yeah i've got it because you, your height your length of your arms i think they'll feel more comfortable in your arms you're not sort of losing your posture as a result of sort of getting yeah. sort of two shorter clubs because i have sometimes done that i've been hunched over or whatever and then yeah. I've, I've lost my balance that will be to do with the length of the clubs yeah uh, and then 
lie angle. The beauty of this new DNA thing, it measures your lie angle as well. And uh, you are three degrees upright in the, with your height, you would expect to be a little bit upright anyway, but with a measuring tool, it's three degrees upright on that club. Okay. Right, and for so you, that's obviously going to help because every bad shot's been to the right. Mm. So lie angle basically means how the club sits yeah. this way. Yep. And if we are going a bit more upright, yeah. that's going to help you get a little bit more draw on it you rather see, than... If you get too flat, like I said, what happens is the toe of the club can dig in yeah. the ground, open the face a little bit more, which is exactly what you don't want to happen. Yep. So when we get the correct line, it, the sole of the club will come in nice and neatly. Yep. Right, and then it goes to set makeup, and this gives you a, a recommendation straight away of where you would go with that. But and with your your specifications of the club you've got, it's going seven iron in the Hot Metal Pro, and then it's recommending JPX fly highs. But seeing how you hit it and almost taking into account that you're going to improve as you go along, I would swap these to six and five in the Hot Metal Pro. So you're getting the same head right the way through. Right. And because I don't think, because of how well you hit, how potentially far you can hit it, I don't think you need as much help from the six and five iron fly, high, fly highs. I think you've already got enough speed and enough strength in the shot to yeah. be able to use the, the iron heads anyway. So This is I where do. your expertise as a fitter comes in. Uh, it, this right, is where you, you've got to be able to eyeball it a little yeah. bit sometimes rather than just going on complete recommendations all the time. Yeah. So it's a uh, five iron to gap wedge in the hot metal pro and then you go for the the 50 degree gap wedge which is that, that matches the set nicely that matches the set nicely yep. and blends in with the lofts of the club but as you see here look all 30 35 40 45 50 lofts so it's yeah. very nice gap in between the clubs yeah so as you can see there guys like i said earlier and we're going back to the same point it's so important that you try different head styles that you look at different head styles we could have quite easily said foxy was going to get fitted into the jpx hot metals because it hit them really good funnily enough we've been training and practicing with the hmbs and those didn't seem to work too well for him even with the recommended shaft so then we thought i'll tell you what let's go halfway let's look at the jpx hot metal pros and as you can see, I don't, need, I don't even need to say anything, he's absolutely nailed them. Now we're looking more top end of the bag, we are going to look at hybrids, we're going to look at three woods drivers and see exactly what specs he needs for those. Guys, hit those comments below, what irons would you be choosing if you were getting this Mizuno fitting? Would you go HMB, would you go JPX, would you go JPX Pro? Now let's get back in there. And this I guess for you Mike is where your, your experience as a fitter comes in fitting a beginner as opposed to maybe a a low handicapper, yeah. a big handicapper. And you've got to say, if the strike's not very consistent with the beginner, it's hard to stand there and say, well, that club's going to work perfectly. Yeah. You can't always do that. We've got to trust the fitting system here that it will put the clubs in the right balance, the right lofts that yeah. match in according to the gaps. As he gets more and more used to playing, gets better at playing and gets more consistent, mm -hmm. they will fit the gap. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I think you've done exceptionally well today, mate, so far, because we've actually had some real consistent attempts and numbers at the club. Good strike mate, a little bit right but not bad. And the beauty of these as well, if they don't fit the gap perfectly straight away, you have got the adjustability to move this anything from 19 up to 21 degrees or even down to 6, 17 degrees. So you've got enough adjustability with it to make sure it does fit the gap. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful that, isn't it? Nice. We've got the five iron to get way set made up there. We add the hybrid, yep. and that automatically adds it into the fitting. So we've, we've got the set so far, right up to the hybrid, yeah. Four hybrid, then five iron to get wedge, then we continue to the woods. And the beauty of this DNA system, it gives you the shafts that match up to the, the shaft that we've put in there and recommended with the iron shafts as well. Yeah. So the, the Atmos Blue is the top recommended shaft. Again, what I'd recommend for you again there is we go for the more adjustable weighted head one. Yeah. So again, you've got a little bit more freedom to alter the loft and the playability of the club yeah. based on your development as you go through your 
your learning processes. And and fairway wood wise, I would definitely go for. I wouldn't go for a three wood. I'd go for a five wood. Again, due to the loft, a lot easier to hit off the fairways and the tee as well. So just go for something with a little bit more loft yeah. and balance that up with a, a five wood as opposed to a uh, uh, a three wood. Yeah, good strike, mate, that. So I think a lesson on fairway woods, mate, when we, uh, yeah, when we get back. Yeah, I think I should down the line. Yeah. Do you want a few drivers? Yeah, let's hit a few drivers, yeah, yeah just uh, we know what we're going with, don't we? Yeah. Like it in driver, mate, don't you? Yeah, we did have the last lot yesterday as well. And this is something we'd re recommend for a lot of beginners. Let's see that ball get an airborne, yeah. let's see it in flight, and then you can always, obviously, move it down. Yeah. This is where modern drivers are absolutely fantastic for not just obviously yeah. us as fitters and, and club builders, but for guys like you who say, right, well, it's going to I now, so let's... Uh, lock, this is your best friend. Yeah. And, and what I'm going to put it to 11 degrees, but what I'm also going to do with this one, I'm going to put the weight more into the heel yeah. to try and stop it going to the right. And this is one thing, as you sort of get more and more used to playing, you could soon adjust this to maybe launch it higher, maybe get it shaping a bit less. You can do anything you want with it. There's your drill, mate. That's a great exercise. I'm pleased you remembered that. Yeah, Makes me look like I know what I'm on about as well. <laughs> great strike. Great strike, yeah. Closer. Yeah, good effort, mate. That one down the first fairway is not going to hurt you. Standard thickness, which you can go up to three, four tapes on. But what I'm sort of going to recommend to you is that you're going to go for a mid-size grip. And again, that'll feel quite a lot thicker, but it should feel a lot better in your hands. Yeah, with that one, you, you can see my fingers are almost wrapped back round on themselves yeah. with there. How big your hands, mate? Put your hand against mine. Look. He's got that. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. But if we can get that in mid size, the align, MCC align. Yeah, I like that, that with, the, with yeah. the red on it. So we've already got the JPX 919 wedge already in the 50. So we're going to go on to that. We're going to add the 55 degree uh, JPX wedge. Yeah. And then we're also going to add the 60 degree low wedge as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And it goes to the summary and tells you all that we've got. So when you go to the summary, it gives you the details that we've got from the shaft fit, the head that we've put in with JPX 919 Hot Metal Pro, Project X LZ 5.0, the MCC Align Grip, standard with the ribbed on it, with five tapes underneath it to try and get it to mid size, or we'll put a mid size grip on it, half an inch longer than standard, three degrees upright, and the set makeup is four hybrid, five iron to lob wedge driver and a, f a five wood 18 degree five wood <laughs> so guys that is it that is a full bag fitting for our beginner golfer so first of all thank you very much mike for your time Thanks, james guys this up. is not golf club hollingwell fantastic facility indoor it's hammering it down outside it's freezing cold we haven't had to be out there we've got the fitting done in here beautiful so thank you so much for your time thank you for your expertise one of the big things for me guys is when you come for a fitting you have to be knowledgeable about or should i say the fitter has to be knowledgeable about what you want to get from it so we've got that today it's absolutely brilliant. Mate, well done. Thank you. Really good. Like I said, fittings can be nerve-wracking times. They can be a little bit hit or miss. That's definitely been a hit today. Very, very good. The specs are all linked below, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This is the Beginner's Race to Dubai, sponsored by Mizuno and Troon International. So, guys, thanks once again for watching. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Well done, Jay. Thank you. Cheers, boys. Okay.